Is it hard to access affordable, healthy food? Then listen carefully. Daryl Addison, an African-American inventor, has patented a process for growing food on demand. He called it Torpedo Pot. Torpedo Pot is a fully automated flower pot that gives you control over your plant's environment. All you do is add soil, seeds, and plants to the flower pot and watch it grow. Yes, Torpedo Pot grows the rest. Visit www.torpedopot.com. We know in medicine, black people, you know, definitely, you know, need more, you know, black doctors and black nurses because it's been proven time and time again that we get better care that way. We deal with medical racism. You know, they have the books like a medical apartheid. And you remember we had, you know, interviewed uh, nurse Angela and how she broke all those things down that go on, you know, in these hospitals. Case in point, there was a video out of Mississippi with this woman by the name of Amanda Ellis, you know, she's, you know, drinking and she's saying all kind of vile things about black people, but yet you have black patients that you're dealing with. Let's go ahead and roll that short clip. I'm about to get ghetto. <laughs> Before I turn into a ghetto, put your bottle of water on your head. Before I turn into a ghetto, put your bottle of water on your head. Madeline got some crazy eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Look, she is ghetto. <laughs> I'm sorry. Now we censored the N word. She said every time she said ghetto, she said the N word. We had to censor that. You know how YouTube is, but. This woman was fired from her job at Oviation Wellness. Now, Mississippi is one of the blackest states in the union, and you need more black nurses and black doctors there because a lot of the patients that she was serving were black people, yet you're saying the N-word. I told y'all, we don't even be in the room, and we live rent-free in these people's minds. Why? I mean, like, why y'all got so much hate for black folks for? I don't understand. I always, I've been saying this in many videos. If you don't like black people, okay, cool. No problem. There are certain states in America that you can move to that's hardly not many black people at all. Like a state like Vermont is one of them. It's not a lot of black people there, according to what I saw in the demographics. Uh, Maine is another state you can move to. It's not that many black people there. Just, just naming two. Why don't all of you who don't like black people like that just move up there? And you don't, you will hardly run into black people. I'm telling you, it'll be so far and few in between. I mean, if I was a person that hated people that much and I didn't want to be around them, that's what I would do. I'll move to a state where there's a bunch of people that look like me and I don't want to deal with those people, whatever. Right. I mean, that would be actually a simple solution for your racism, but you are not even smart to do that. Cause at least if you was doing that, you would have kept your job. You would have kept it, but can't help yourself. Y'all ruin your, your, your career. You'll get your license suspended. You'll lose your business. You'll lose everything just to make sure you can say the N word. And then your, your so-called friends recording you. How you think the video got out? They put you on blast. Nobody else secretly recorded. It was your own people. They were laughing when you uploaded that to social media. <laughs> Boy, that's, that's just so funny. And I've seen so many of them over the years, brothers and sisters. They, they just lose their jobs. I'm like, you go to medical school, you go to all this college and all of that just to get yourself messed off behind just can't keep black people out your mouth. Doesn't make sense. But glad she's not treating black folks right now. We glad. But let me know, you know, in the comments y'all think about this. Maybe some of y'all, Mississippi, have ever dealt with this woman. Uh, but please. Hey family, make sure you join us on the new and improved African diaspora news.org. Now it is our uncensored and raw truth website. We have to make sure to have our own website because on social media platforms, they do have rules and at any time they could change a rule and shut a whole genre down. Now that would not happen to us because on African diaspora news.org, we could speak the truth. We don't have to hold back. So make sure you join our website today.